Andrew Kukar, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the real deal himself, David Jameson. Now, David, I was wanting to do an interview with you because you had a, a big fight at the Hydro uh, next weekend against Dex Bellman, but under some crazy circumstances, uh, you can probably just enlighten everybody in what happened and why you've been pulled from the bill. Yep, I, I well, I've, I've been bit by a dog um, at the weekend. I don't want to go too far into whose dog it was, what it was, but um, it was a family pet. Um, and I, listen, I'm, I'm absolutely gutted. I was trying, I was doing everything in my power at the start of the week to just hopefully get to fight night and stuff. But speaking to my manager, speaking to my team, I've got good people around us. It's, it's not going to be right. And even if it was right in 10 days' time on fight night, it's... It's, it's the fact that you're, you're going to have lost the most crucial two weeks of training camp as well. I can't put my hand in a glove. I can't do anything with my hand. So it's it's a case of just back to the drawing board. We'll reschedule it. I want the fight. Deck wants the fight. And we'll get it on for, further down the line. I know, I know like this was a, a huge opportunity for yourself. I mean, the hydro, it's, it's almost mm. like this is, this is the mecca of Scottish boxing, fighting at the hydro, especially in Glasgow and all the Scottish yeah. fans. Uh, Josh Taylor's made it his home. So for any Scottish fighter, it seems like it's the pinnacle, of, not the pinnacle of their career, because maybe Vegas is the pinnacle of their career, but as a Scottish fighter, the hide was up there to, to, to fight in. But for you, obviously, with the injury and stuff like that, have they, have they, have they said, a, give, given you a time scale on when you can get back to back to normality and start punching again? Um, I, th I think we're looking at, well, it's, it's just the, the tissue damage. There's no, I was getting a bit of transferred pain up my arm and things like that. But um, the doctors checked all the tendons and ligaments. Everything seems to still be attached. It's just because of the swelling in my wrist and stuff. I'm getting a bit of transferred pain up my up my uh, tricep and into my shoulder. But mm. it, it will, it's, it's, it's the infections, the big thing. Um, infections set in on the wound in the back of my hand. So there's sort of like, it's like custard coming out the back of it. The mm. main thing is just the antibiotics to get the infection to pass. Um, and, and it will heal up. It'll be fine. It'll be back to full strength in no time. It's not going to be... I mean, it'll probably be a matter of weeks. Mm. You, you showed the, the bandage there. It was quite a big bandage, but can you explain like, what exactly happened and, and yeah. stuff like that? So, so the dog's latched on here. So I've got two puncture wounds in my wrist. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a big, uh, the big, the problem one is the one in the back of my hand. Um, when it happened uh, and the blood was all sort of running down my hand and after what the sort of fracas with the dog and I went running in and I ran my, my hand underneath the, the hot tap and I sort of moved my fingers and I could see all the tendons moving in the back of my it hand. Was and that was at that point, I, I just turned the tap off and I just said to my wife, Michaela, listen, we need to go to the hospital. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, it was, that was it. Oof. Well, like I say, I'm gutted for you, mate, because like, we, we've spoken, the cruiserweight division is, is a nice, it's a nice looking division, especially domestically. <laughs> and Dex Bellman, defending your IBO continental title against Dex Bellman, winning that fight, could have set yep. you up for a fight against Jack Massey. I know that was talked about with Jack yeah, Massey. Yeah. Like, you, you've got these guys like Crim, Chris Bellum Smith and Tommy McCarthy fight and just their <laughs> react cost and, and, Obviously, Lawrence O'Coley's doing his thing. You've got Mikhail Lawal, who you know yep. very well from the Boxer Series. I mean, right now, your, your cruiserweight division, is, is, especially it's, domestically, and here in the UK and Ireland, is, is, is buzzing. It's flying at the moment. So yeah. can you just describe your emotions right now? Absolutely devastated. Um, aye. It, it was worse at the start of the week because it was all the uncertainty and I was, I was, I was trying to sprackle about in my head and... I'll just, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. And because I've got good people around me. I've got Steph, who you know, I've mm -hmm. got Jerry, Sam, um, even the boys like, from Fight Zone and stuff. And listen, they've assured me, the fight, the, there's that much interest. It's a right juicy fight. The fight will just be postponed. The fight will happen further down the line. And I, I think I, I put it in my post on Facebook, a fight of this magnitude, it deserves the both of us coming in at 100%. There can be ne no excuses on either side. Um, and so it's it's just a case of y you need to make the adult decision. It's not happening. It's a sore one to take, but it's just a temporary setback. Like it's, you, I, I, what you said there was good. You need to go into this fight 100% because, yeah. like I mentioned there, you not going into this fight 100% no. cost you massively in the future like we, we, like I said to you I, I, I rattled off all their names and you're right yeah. you've got the quantum title you lose against the experiment 
because you've came into this fight not 100%, sets you back yeah. miles. You know what I mean? You're on the yeah. cusp. You're almost there. One fight away from these big fights. I was talking to somebody the other day, and the analogy that I used was snakes and ladders. I'm too mm. far up the ladder, and if you hit a snake, you're right back to the bottom of the board again. Mm. Um, and and where I am, it's it's just not worth the risk. As I say, it's it's a t- it's a temporary setback. The fight will be rescheduled, um, and and we'll go again. It's it's all still there to do. Have they get, uh, have they said where that fight would be? Will it be in Scotland? We've not, I spoke to, I didn't speak to Dennis and that, but I spoke to the Fight Zone people last night. They're not looking past the show next week. They've obviously got business to attend to next week um, and to push that. So they're not wanting to look too far past that. But I, I reckon so. Listen, I, I, I'll do a, a decent ticket up here and things like that. So it'd be nice to do it up, up, up in Glasgow. Well, I know I, I had the pleasure to sit with you and your lovely wife at the Priest Field at your home, your boxing club's home show. And yeah. I, know, I know you're going away on your honeymoon. And you do go after this fight to, on, to Turkey or whatever it was. I can't quite remember. Yeah, Turkey, yeah. Time, but I'd imagine you'll be taking your running trainers to stay fit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> no, listen, we're, we're off to, I think it's the Royal Wings Hotel in Turkey on the 18th. So we're only out for a week. It's only Wednesday to Wednesday. But uh, yeah, no, listen, there's a lovely health suite. There's a, a couple of treadmills, some weights, some dumbbells. I don't know if there's any bags, uh, but we'll see if I can sweet talk Michaela into holding some pads for us during the week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Michaela will. Listen, I'm sure she'll hold it. Or, or she'll give you a couple of Brown's body spawn, one of the two. Yeah, yep. Like I said to you, man, I just want to get your thoughts on on the cruiserweight division right now. And mm-hmm. uh, like I said, like I obviously I rattled off all them names, but when, when you think about the cruiserweight division and how close you are, how far do you think you can go with all these big huge names? Like th- these guys ain't mug. These guys are all probably potential world titles in the React Wars, Boys, yeah. Bell Smiths, and do you know what I mean? These are all probably world level opponents. So how far are you away from them? Well, I, I think I've touched on it um, in previous interviews. People have always heard me talk about it, like ceilings on careers and stuff. And I'm, I'm not putting a ceiling on my career now. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting at 11th in Britain. Um, I'm certainly making a bit of noise in the division. I'm an entertaining fighter. I've got the, the IBO International strap there, which is going to prove to be a stepping stone onto bigger and better things. Um, and, well, not to rabbit it on, but that training for, the, for this fight, I, um, I dropped my hours and worked down to 10 hours a week and I was able to live the life, do my running in the morning, come back up the road, get a bit of rest, get my breakfast, in the gym at 12 o'clock and then up the road, go for a sleep, go for an hour's kip and then back in the gym for sparring at 6 o'clock and having done that for four weeks there, what it showed me is that I've, I've got a lot more time left in this game and I can really maximise my productivity, if you see what I'm saying. And um, when I was, I would, I'd always put that ceiling on my career because I was working full time. I do it's construction. I work. I'm a workshop manager. So I'm like a 45 hour week, 50 hour week at times. And then you're trying to train round about, and it's it's hard. It's hard. I'm, I'm I'm 30, but it just gets harder as you get older. Whereas now I'm seeing with some sponsors coming on board, with the purses, with it, with the with the fights. I can take that time, I can justify taking that time off, my bills are all still paid, and I can really apply myself. So, see, to be honest, Andy, I mean, I beat Dex Bellman, and I will beat Dex Bellman when the time's right, and we'll press on. What is, is it a Jack Massey? Is the, the, the vacant British? Is there an eliminator pressing on to that? There's, I, honestly, I, I really do believe in myself to, to, to go as far as I want to go now. That's it. You are an exciting fighter. You're, you're a come forward. You, I mean, you don't mind eating two to land three. That, that's the type of fighter. That, <laughs> that's the type of fighter that us fans enjoy to watch. Do you know yes. what you're yes. a fan. The, way, the best way to describe your style, for anyone that hasn't watched David Jameson fight, is a fan friendly style. I mean, you go I out appreciate there. It, and the fans, no, that... the fans are going to enjoy your fight. So that's the best way I can describe it. I know you do have a skill set. You are skillful. You do bring power, and you can punch hard. Yeah, yeah. But for the people that don't know who you are and maybe haven't seen you fight, a fan-friendly style, you're going to be on the edge of your seat. You're going to be standing up and cheering every time you fight. So that's the best way I can describe yeah. style. No, I appreciate that, mate, especially coming for somebody like yourself. Obviously, you know what I mean? You're, you've got your eyes on the game all the time, so that, that means a, a whole lot to me. No, no, listen. Listen, I'm gutted for you. As you know, Like I, I was only on Thursday night, last Thursday there, when we, we sat mm-hmm. down and had that a nice dinner together. Some, some, I was going to say red wine, but we didn't have anything. I think we had a, some ice water. And uh, <laughs> I stole your, I stole your, no, what did I steal? Did I steal your, 
Didn't have tatties, did you? Because you were cutting weight. I was cutting weight. You bet you are dying new. I had a chicken breast and some green beans, and you stole my tatties. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, truly gutted for you, mate. Uh, I was actually looking forward to your fight because, like I said to you, I enjoy watching you fight because you have that style where you're yeah. going, to, going to be mesmerised and be jumping up and down off your seat and stuff like that. So I'm truly gutted for you. Yeah. But listen, go and enjoy your time away with your lovely wife. Uh, recharge the batteries, come back bigger and better, and I'm sure that fight will get rescheduled and you can you can hit the, hit the ground running from there. But listen, no. David, always thank you so much, mate. And uh, listen, speak to you soon, brother. Thanks very much for your time, Andy. Cheers, mate. Anytime, my man. Anytime. See you soon, David. Brilliant. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Day. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.